Greetings and salutations, Mike Jewell here, and I am back from a very long hiatus away from YouTube. It is February 12th, 2015, and we are gathered here today in my laundry room uh, to plant Carolina Reaper pepper seeds, which is currently the hottest pepper in the world. Um, if you've watched my videos from as far back as 2010, uh, you would know that uh, the Buccellochia was once the hottest pepper in the world, uh, preceded by the Red Savina Habanero. Uh, since then, there have been a number of uh, subsequent uh, Guinness-rated hottest pepper in the world. There was uh, the uh, Naga Viper, uh, the Infinity Pepper, there was the uh, Butch T Trinidad Scorpion, uh, the Maruga Trinidad Scorpion, and now finally uh, we have this, which uh, very likely by the time I publish this video on YouTube uh, will no longer be the hottest pepper in the world. But uh, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know the quality tends to be uh, pretty low. Um, I've been using a old point and shoot camera from 2005 but now I actually have a uh, Samsung camcorder, which allows me to do high-tech things like zoom in and zoom out, which uh, prior to this video, I was not able to do. So let's, uh, let's plant these seeds. See, the thing with seeds is they're kind of like eggs, but they're eggs that plants hatch out of. And we don't call it hatching with seeds, we call it sprouts, or sprouting. And of course the uh, technical name for sprouting is germination. So we're gonna put these seeds in the pots of dirt, and in time, these seeds, these plant eggs, will produce very spicy pepperises. So, let's just gingerly place them into the soil, ever so gingerly, like Ron Howard would, or Ron Weasley, or anyone named Ron who has red hair and freckles. It's my belief that someone with red hair and freckles that is not named Ron is not so much a ginger as they are a gingerous because of course Ron is a man's name whereas Ronaldine or Renette is more of a lady's name so we're putting these peppers in the hole talking nonsense and loving life. That's what gardening is all about. There's no room for hate in this man's laundry room. Just loving, gardening, and brewing beer. Putting seeds in the soil ever so gingerly as the Lord above has intended us to do since the times of yore when mankind first discovered agriculture. It truly is a blessing to be able to put seeds in little holes that I made with a flathead screwdriver in these pots of dirtses. All right. I think that's enough for these pots. I'm gonna bury them up. I bet my handle tastes spicy later. And then we're gonna give them a little bit of water to get them going. And usually it takes anywhere from about 7 to 14 days
for really hot peppers of the species Capsicum chinense, which are habaneros and scotch bonnets and super hot peppers like Buccholochias to sprout. They sprout a lot slower than other pepper eyes. So uh, we probably won't have an update for you for a little while. But you know, que sera, sera. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? And you know what she said to me? She said, you're a boy and you're gonna be a gardener or else I'm gonna hit you. And I know, that's sad. I've had a sad life up until this point. But now I'm running water, getting some hot water. It's a little bit hot, hotter than lukewarm. Not so hot that it'll kill the seeds or plant eggs as uh, science describes them. But just, uh, just warm enough to wake them up. And I got a little coffee pot of wet wild water here. And we just want to water in those seeds. You want the, the seed coat of the seed to get saturated with water. That way it will sprout. If the soil's dry, the pepper seeds will not sprout. And I'll come in here every day, every other day, for the next couple weeks until they sprout. And then once they sprout, I'll just pour water in the bottoms of the pots near the, um, you know, in the pan. Because if the, if the top layer of soil always stays wet, you'll get algae. And algae is like an allergy in that baby plants are allergic to it. And I don't like it. And it gets green, which is my favorite color. But seeing my favorite color in dirt is not worth sick, dying baby plants that just recently hatched from their plant eggs. So thanks again for tuning in. This is Mike Jewell, new and improved, zoom in, zoom out technology, living finally in the 90s, signing off. Thanks for watching my cool new video. Godspeed, God bless you, and good night, son.